Ruski Ed here, and in this lesson, we'll talk about sunflowers. More on that following the intro song, during which you should take a look at the focus words to be presented in this lesson. Ruski Ed is his name, and speaking Russian is his game. If it is Russian, you would like to know. The Ruski Ed is the place to go. You may be wondering what sunflowers have to do with geography. But you won't be wondering for long, since the history of sunflowers has a lot to do with Russia. First of all, Padsonechnik Rodam is Severnaya Ameriki and Radina Padsonechnika Severnaya Amerika both mean the sunflower is native to North America. In fact, Native Americans are known to have cultivated sunflowers as far back as 3000 BC. Sometime around 1500 AD, the sunflower was brought to Europe and during the 18th century, Piotr Pirvi Privios Padsonechnik Rasiu which means Peter the Great brought the sunflower to Russia. For a variety of reasons, sunflowers became used extensively in the production of oil. In 1912, a Russian scientist named Vasily Pustovoyet began a breeding program resulting in sunflowers with especially high oil content. These enhanced sunflower plants were so productive that they became widely planted in North America. Pustovoyet did most of his work in the Kuban region in southwestern Russia, which borders on the Black Sea and the Sea of Azov, as we see on this map. More specifically, he worked near Krasnodar, which is a city with a population of about 744,000, and the administrative center of the Krasnodarsky Krai. Pustovoyet's work was so important that the highest honor conferred to individuals working in the sunflower industry is named after him. It is worth noting that sunflower seed oil, or Padso Nechnaya Masla, is the main oil used in kitchens in both Russia and Ukraine. By the way, sunflower is translated as both Padsolnuch and Padsolnechnik, for your information. However, Padsolnuch is the word most likely to be used in everyday spoken language. And Padsolnechnik is more of a scientific term used when botanists have scientific discussions regarding sunflowers. The following are the focus words for this lesson. Hazyaisva means farm, household, or economy. Selsky means agricultural, rural, or country. Klimat means climate. Patsonuch means sunflower. Kultura and orajai mean crop. Semya means seed. And zemledelia means farming or agriculture. And now for a couple sentences featuring these focus words. Klimat prikrasna padhadi dla zemledelia and Klimat Prikrasna Padhadi Dla Selskava Hazyaisva both mean the climate is perfect for agriculture. And Padsonechnik Prinyos Bagati Orajai Semyan means the sunflower crop produced much seed. It is now time for a batch of review words. Paplatatia means to attempt or to try. Spratatia means to hide or to conceal. Polia means field, lapistok means petal, krasivui means beautiful, and jolti means yellow. Two sample sentences featuring these review words are as follows. First we have, Ana papwatalas pratatsyaf polia paso nuhav, which means she tried to hide in the field of sunflowers. Or you could just leave out the word for field and say, Ana papwatalas pratatsyaf paso nuhach, which also means she tried to hide in the field of sunflowers. And finally we have U Padsolnuha Lapeski Krasivava Jotava Sveta. It means the sunflower petals are a beautiful yellow. And that's it for this lesson. Ruski Ed, signing off now. Das Vidanya!